We lost $151 trading Gil, baby. We're back. What's going on, guys? Welcome on in for a recap. Um, I'm going to be honest. Let's just, let's just be blatantly honest here. Uh, I think no, that wasn't a lot uh, across a 10K account and a 25K account. Do the math percentage-wise. It's not a lot of money. But I think uh, I'm kind of back and I'm bored, I think, as I'm, as I'm thinking deeper about this. Uh, if I'm being honest. Now, the good news is that I do have stops in place and I don't do dumb shit like I used to to where I would lose a lot more money. But I think I'm kind of a little bit bored. And so I think the problem that I, that I, that I had here was that this trade I took on Tuesday. But I re-entered it on Wednesday and then I exited today. And I think for a good reason. I think I was recognizing that and it just didn't go. Uh, I'll walk through the, ex the explanation behind all that stuff here in a second. But I think honestly... Uh, it's a little bit of boredom and it's a little bit of like, oh, I haven't really seen a ton of setups. So when I do see one, it's like, oh, here we fucking go. And then when it doesn't seem to be working and I'm not getting the signs, I didn't need to take it again. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. What is Gil? That's gold, not Gil. We talk, gold might work. We'll see what happens. That could be the next trade recap. A little bit of foreshadowing. Uh, here it is. The idea here was essentially the breakout over the blue line, which occurred on Tuesday I then get in, it then doesn't go, I get out, which we have a recap on. And then Wednesday, I get back in because I'm like, oh, it's breaking the level again, let's go. And then it, it literally rejects 48 on the nose again and does not push. Now, this is not a high momentum stock. In, well, I mean, hey, I, I shouldn't say that. No, I shouldn't say that. Look at it, it's, it's pretty good. Um, it When you are getting this, what my strategy is, Break that shit and go. Like, that's the idea. And I think, well, we had the opportunity, but that was a false push. The thought process here should have been on Wednesday. If we break the high of the day before, we get some volume and it's freaking pushing. Okay. It just didn't it just didn't go. You know what I mean? And so what ends up happening here, at least in my, my opinion for myself, is... You're kind of trying to force your, you know, your will or whatever, your strategy on the market. And it's just not giving it, it's just not presenting it. Like it's not showing you that this is the time to, to push. So not terrible. I recognize that today with the same exact thing. We broke that level again and then it kind of went, Meh. and I go, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just get out. It's not happening. And so I'm not going to let this thing come back down and completely kill me. They have earnings in two weeks. Just move on. 151 bucks, not the end of the world, but probably could have avoided it in the first place. You know what I'm saying? So it's like these little things that I'm kind of like, that are kind of eating away at me because I haven't traded very much, I think, for the month of October. I just have not. We have eight trades totally logged, although mo that's really, there's four because they're all doubled because I'm taking on a trade copier. So there's really four trades, which... Go back the past couple of months. I mean, you don't really see many months that I trade four times, you know, like like that across the first half of the month. We're now past halfway. So I tried, I've been trying to do a better job of like just being super relaxed, patient, letting it come to me. Um, the problem is I just, we aren't really in that super high momentum environment for what I have played. There have been some stuff out there. Don't get me wrong, but for my my place, just haven't really worked so far. We had the Roku trade, obviously, but since then, not much. We go into earnings season, generally speaking, not super great for that. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get opportunities. Maybe we won't. We shall see. That's the update for today. All this is on TradeZilla. I'll leave them linked below, 10% off if you're interested. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. I don't really see, I mean, I have no, oh, well, I have one position on gold, which I took on the live stream if you guys were there on Thursday morning. If you would then have seen that. Um, but other than that, you know, I don't really have like, a, you know, a lot going on here. It's like not a lot of stuff that I'm seeing. The market kind of, I guess I should talk about the market. The market kind of keeps grinding up. If I go to SPY, um, you know, I mean, oh, I got yeah, right grinding up. Perfect example is today. So we open up at an all-time high. Oh, let's go. But then we just sell off all day and then we literally finish the day where we closed the day prior. So it's like that was a nothing burger of a day in, in like the grand scheme. But 
technically speaking, we are still making higher lows. We made a higher high. We're grinding higher. It's like you're kind of getting that. That's the sense that we're in. Um, so trying to be as you know thoughtful as possible with that because if that's the environment, then you know that potentially puts you in a situation where there's not as many opportunities for momentum. For now, that could change quickly. We'll be ready for it when it does. So we'll see that. I'm waiting around to see when we get opportunities. I have some alerts set. We'll see. There's some stuff that's moving. Some stuff is not. Maybe we move over to gold, Bitcoin, silver, oil in the next couple of weeks as we go through earnings and get to the election. And then after the election, let the floodgates open for stocks to be back into play after we have earnings and the election. Maybe, maybe I'm just thinking out loud, right? That, that's kind of my thought process. Thanks so much. I will see you in the next recap. So far in the month, we're down $439. Uh, but if you know, if, if you know kind of how things go, you know, that's one or two trades off from, from, from flipping that bag, that bitch back profitable. So we'll see. Uh, trying not to focus on the dollar amount more so just taking the trades. And I think that will end up panning out to be better anyway, but you also will have periods like we kind of have now where the trades are just not really hitting. And I feel like that's been the case for a while now, which is really interesting. And I'm really pumped because usually that doesn't happen forever. And when that happens, the longer it happens, the better, the, the better, the, the opposite side of that is going to be. We'll see. We'll see how we handle it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.